Let's open our Bibles this morning to 1 Peter chapter 3 and the 9th verse. 1 Peter chapter 3 and the 9th verse. 1 Peter chapter 3 and the 9th verse. Can somebody read it for me? For, for he who lacks these things is short-sighted. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. Not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling but on the contrary blessing knowing that you were called to this that you may inherit the blessing. Not returning evil for evil not reviling for reviling but on the contrary blessing knowing that you are called to this that you may inherit a blessing hallelujah how many of you believe 2019 God will bless you how many of you believe it's a going to be a year of blessing the Bible says in John chapter 4 and the 35th verse don't say four more months hallelujah the harvest is now hallelujah glory to God it is August starting don't say October August oh, uh, October November December hallelujah September October November don't say four more months the harvest is now hallelujah lift up your eyes your redemption is near hallelujah your battle is getting over this morning hallelujah believe that God's supernatural victory is going to be experienced over your lives and over your hearts if you believe it put your hands together hallelujah before I entered into the house of God God said we will not surrender 2019 into the hands of the devil how many of you will say that? Hallelujah. We will not surrender into the hands of the law. We will declare the glory of Jesus Christ over 2019. We believe in the extraordinary year of 2019. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at somebody sitting next to you and say, You have chosen to inherit the blessing. Amen. Another version says, you have called to experience the blessing. Hallelujah. You have called to experience this blessing. This morning it will not be just a head knowledge. The Lord's tangible presence is in our midst. You are about to experience this blessing into your heart, into your life. You are about to experience the tangible blessing of God flowing into your life. How many of you believe that this morning? Hallelujah. If you want to title today's word, you can title it Blessings and Curses. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you want to walk in the blessing and not curses? If you are walking in the blessing of God, we will not be upset to see somebody receiving a blessing. We will not be upset somebody receiving a new car. We will not be upset somebody having a good ministry. We will not be upset somebody getting married of their liking. Because we know that the same God who blessed them has a blessing kept ready for us too. Hallelujah. Amen. But let me tell you and assure you this morning the Lord is saying you will not end up only seeing other people blessed but at the end of the year you will have a testimony. Oh. For yourself, the Lord said, Hallelujah. Ninaka Minda Saksha Maita Viti Pogam the Wallet, or Anikira and Deva, Minda Jiva the Nekaikimanda, what is the Talba Maya Deva Mulichuare? Hallelujah. Amen. Because every time God wants you to walk into a blessing, it is not a simple topic. There is a battle behind. I have battled all night last night. I was battling for one hour with the pastors to make sure that this message will not get into your head but will move into your heart Amen. hallelujah so this morning God has sent me with this blessing God has sent me to impart this blessing God has sent me to release and loose this blessing over your hearts and over your life you have to go home and do a homework, read Deuteronomy 26 to Deuteronomy 30. You will understand what is a blessing, what is a curse, how blessing will come, how curse will come, how you can walk in a blessing, how you can walk out of a blessing. 
what is blessing how does it come how will a believer walk in the blessing all these things you can see it in these chapters when you read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and the first two verse now, Deuteronomy chapter yes now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth if you carefully listen to the instructions to the, obey the voice of the Lord I will bless you and this blessing will be yours blessed be the name of the Lord some of you will ask pastor I thought I've received the blessing through the finished work of Jesus Christ we have no argument you can only receive the blessing through the finished work of Jesus Christ Amen. it is through the perfect hallelujah sacrifice on the cross that makes you an inheritor hallelujah in the kingdom of God but in the practical life there is also afterwards an element of obedience let me explain to you that just imagine I'm a very generous pastor today I'm going to give you a business class a first class visa to Washington DC how many of you will take it only a few people thank God <laughs> I'm just giving you free and you're saying pastor why did you give me you know I don't deserve to get this you know visa. I mean to I mean you know this expensive ticket I do not even deserve to get an economy you give me a first class pastor why why I said I love you I just love you I'm just giving you a ticket hallelujah amen praise God hallelujah somebody will say take it before I change my mind <laughs> this is take it and you take it I say see carefully look at the ticket it is on Friday 2 p.m. you have to come three hours prior hallelujah to to get into the uh, 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 airport and 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 check in and get boarded and 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 make sure that you are there the, the, the on the ticket it's a, a flight number is there make sure that you get in the right plane I gave it you said thank you and I go but Friday morning you're thinking getting up maybe pastor did not mean it maybe pastor does not mean it let me go for my friend's party afterwards let me decide when you come here maybe pastor tricked me actually this might be a bogus ticket might not be a real one and you sit at home will you reach Washington DC because you did not carefully follow the instructions hallelujah blessed be how many of you are getting this this morning hallelujah 2000 years ago hallelujah Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary hallelujah gave us business tickets gave us first class tickets it is free of course not because of what you have done not because you have deserved it he has given it through grace by faith in Jesus Christ hallelujah glory to God but having received it there are carefully instructions that you have to follow hallelujah Blessed be the name of the law. There is an, a, practically an element of obedience that you shall walk in it. Are you here this morning? Carefully listen. Not if you play in the mobile phone, not if you sleep, but if you carefully listen. This morning, if you're carefully listening to the word, every bondage, every cycle of curse, every negative words every generational curse every kind of hallelujah oh demons that are holding on to your life every deep rooted problems this evening this morning god will set you free you will walk in from this place on a heart free life free your life will not be the same your mind will not be the same your thoughts will not be the same in the name of jesus with the time we have we are going to look into a family there was a study that was done with 10,000 families and the family tree of two or for 200 years 10,000 family were tested with this teaching by men of God anointed men of God biblical scholars they 
for a study they took 10000 families and 200 years of family tree they went through to see whether this word is actually true whether there are blessings and curses and they looked into this families on the basis of god's word they have ex- examined every life very carefully hallelujah even today you can look into our lives two children studying on the same bench same teacher same school same syllabus one person is distracted always speaking to somebody else on the class always irritating people always you know have one or two comments to the teachers and at the end of the exam comes he passes he get good marks on the same bench is another boy who is writing all the notes he listens well he goes for the tuitions extra time study day and night but the time exam comes suddenly a stomach ache if not the stomach ache something that he wants to remember suddenly is forgotten or oh, there is no ink in his pen or oh, there is no sharpener on his pencil something or the other or oh, suddenly a from nowhere a fear is coming that he will fail hallelujah when he enters his exam he writes and he fails ella padichavan padikajavan pass aayi padichavan thottu poi what is behind this what is behind this or look into different houses villas lives the same colony two houses in one house there is joy and peace and united prayer the children are playing together with parents and all of them are happy sitting together for a meal but the house next door the husband and the wife fighting all the day children disturbed no peace no joy only time they will have joy is the time between you know they travel to from uh, 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 their home to 1mg mall that is the maximum the time of peace or two people started a business same capital same amount of money same opportunities one person business goes up and the other person business fails whatever he put his hand doing one person is doing well the other person the moment of his breakthrough something happens and he loses it tonight people like this god is going to give you a turn around hallelujah or some of you coming from good families by the grace of god there is family name there is coming from good heritage but in practical side you are sort of empty no godly experiences no blessing today there is a change if you receive the word in prayer some families god is brought you here for a turning point hallelujah amen your life that is going to be broken if god is going to put it back right today right where you are sitting today another person who has knows ministers presidents who has contacts but his business is not clicking you heard the story just few days back what happened hallelujah have you thought about what is behind it or whatever other guy is not studied much but wherever he goes the doors are just opening up he is being promoted the other one works diligently for a long time nothing works no appraisal no hale appreciation nothing no opportunities but here is a clerk started with a cup of tea now he is manager now he is owning the business now he is starting his own business what's the difference what is behind it and today the bible is saying god has not you not called you to a curse but he's called you to a blessing not to enter into losses but into profits and abundance if you receive the word of the living god blessing and deliverance will come in the name of jesus so the bible scholars look at two families who studied in the same bench two people two families and two 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 men one of the name name was jonathan edwards jonathan edwards he had a problem he had a small 
eye problem but he was a revivalist he was a man of god not educated he loved the lord and served the lord all his life they go went on to study he had 1394 children grandchildren great grandchildren great 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 grandchildren he had and they said the revivalist jonathan edwards his family tree for the 200 years when they looked into it not one of them was addicted with smoking or drinking 295 were highly educated 13 of them were principals of prestigious colleges 65 were professors three were american vice presidents three were different governors in states of america one was in the treasury department in the us government 213 ifs international foreign service 30 judges 100 were lawyers one was a deacon of a law college 56 were medical doctors one was a medical college president 75 army officers not one of them went to jail not there was a public case against them no one divorce no business failure nobody had a deadly disease disease and nobody committed suicide every one of them brought profit to the us government ah oh, come on somebody because one person chose a revivalist an uneducated man chose to serve the lord hallelujah oh ravala dara sandara rudala bala sambara adura adara adara but on the contrast they did a study with a classmate of jonathan edwards called max duke he was an atheist he married an ungodly woman in the 19th century they found out there is no history about 100 years 560 people were only there in his family not one is a graduate 310 were dead in death 150 were in jail 40 were became hardcore criminals almost everybody were drunkards smokers rapists and flirts seven murderers 98 were prostitutes to the one who did not believe in god come on somebody today now here comes god said in deuteronomy 30 and 19 and 20 you don't need to get scared okay am i making you scared i'm trying to take you out of fear praise the lord i'm trying to take you out of fear for life ninda jeevathin ella bayathil ninnum vidiyippikina pagalaanu praise the lord hallelujah you trying to be 30 19 and 20 i call heaven and earth as the witness today against you that i have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both of you both you and your descendant may live that amen may... hallelujah Amen. He is saying, "Hey children, I've said before you blessing and curses, life and death. Now you choose blessing. Maranam, jivanam, anigram, shabo. Ni endu tharanjalukum. That is your your choice. I cannot choose. Pastor Chako cannot choose. God said, if I were you, I would tell you. Is there in the word? Choose life. Choose blessing. Oh, come on, somebody." How many of you will say if you choose life there is nothing to fear if you choose blessing there is nothing to fear God has called you to a blessing the bible says Hallelujah Amen I have said before you one person out of one will die if he is born he will die there is sun and moon there is summer and winter no change in the same way the lord is saying there is blessing and curse there is life and death you have to choose How many of you have chosen Jesus? Chosen the finished work of Jesus Christ? Then you are supposed to walk in the blessing of God. It is your right. It is your covenant right. It is your right to walk in God's blessing. I am just teaching you how to walk it effectively. When will the curse go? People will say, Jesus died 2000 years ago when he died the curse completely left it was broken if so sin was also broken why people are still committing sin hallelujah if people are still committing sin the curse is not also left it is still there if you allow it 
ആലലൂയ ഇപ്പോൾ ആൾ ആൾക്കാര് പാവം ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും നിനക്ക് ഇപ്പോൾ ശാപത്തിലും നടക്കാം ഹാലലൂയ വെൻ വിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഓൾ ലീവ് റെവലേഷൻ ട്വന്റി ടു ആൻഡ് ത്രീ സേസ് വെൻ ദ ന്യൂ ഹെവൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ന്യൂ ഏർത്ത് വിൽ കം they will no longer be any curse when jesus comes back and set on his headquarters on earth they will no more pain and no more curse everyone will be rejoicing and happy all the days of their lives hallelujah amen let's go again a little deeper is this okay is this okay you have to receive it in prayer my brother hallelujah hallelujah I know it's a difficult topic. We are starting our fasting and day prayer today. Amen. I'm giving you a short notice. There is tomorrow and day after I'm dealing with the same blessing and curse for the next three days. Hallelujah. Because I believe the harvest time has come. I believe the Red Sea is about to part. I believe some of you need to walk in the tangible blessing of God. Hallelujah. See to Corinth church in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and 22 says anybody who does not love Jesus Paul is telling the church let him be accursed so it was written to the believers so believers can get into curse living outside of the revelation of God's grace can allow the curse to operate if you trust in your flesh more than you trust in the Lord and what he has done you can open yourself to a curse he said let him be accursed to the church Hallelujah. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible says if you turn to a gospel other than the gospel of grace that I preached to you if you go after your knowledge and if you think that all these things you have is yours and if you go against the gospel that I preached to you the gospel that saved you by grace through faith to another gospel to another spirit you shall be accursed hallelujah so it is speaking to the galatians church so you can be cursed church can move into a curse this letter was church written into a where to the people that is why it is important to hold on to the gospel don't go and listen to 100 people and get yourself out of the gospel of Jesus Christ listen to the gospel that has saved you and healed you and delivered you and brought you thus far and I tell you not go don't be a church hopper you think that I'm trying to control you what is going to get controlling you I'm not going to get I have an extra person to pray for fast for kneel down for it is so that you will not move outside of what is holding you together yeah. hallelujah amen this morning hallelujah you have to understand when some people says pastor but the bible says if anybody is in christ jesus is a new creation old has gone and the new has come it's true the new has come in your spirit your spirit is perfect your mind has to be renewed the bible says your body shall be glorified only when jesus comes back so the devil operates curses through your mind and through your body if you don't have the revelation of the grace of god oh that is why i'm giving you the revelation of the blessing this morning so that you will not have to walk hallelujah in the curse but you will walk in the newness of the holy spirit the newness of life that you have inherited when you accepted jesus christ as lord and savior christ to us the hope of glory because as a pastor it's not like the evangelist evangelist can come preach something and go because they don't see them again but as a pastor i see every person every sunday whether i like it or not friday now what's up what's up Pastor, I'm feeling bad and you'll put a selfie. And you will see, why? Why are you all looking serious? I'm speaking about blessing. <laughs> Sometimes as a pastor, you pray, you pray and the problems are not solved. Sometimes you fast and pray and seek the face of God. Some people get it. some people the answers are not coming for these 
three areas that's why I dedicated to prayer and to dedicate it only to this message because I believe the time has come for the church to move into something extraordinary there will be prophecies there will be prayer there will be laying of hands everything will be happening in these three days hallelujah give little time like last week I told you take time in the LM hallelujah don't be rush hurry stay there rooted there till, like Jacob who said I will not leave till I know I am blessed So what are the signs of curse? And if you want to get out of the curse, you should know the cause and the cure. Everybody say the cause and the cure. If you go to a doctor, we'll ask, what is your problem? You say, Tengu. You say, fever. And he, he goes through a blood test and says, you have Tengu. Now this is the cure. If so, the doctor gives medicines. This is the medicine to get you out of every known and unknown process once and for all to walk in the supernatural blessing you receive it prayer hallelujah thanksgiving hallelujah in between thank the Lord I like one pastor said he said when you listen to the word of God in between you said oh Jesus Christ oh Jesus oh Jesus Bartimaeus cried out he felt Jesus was not giving attention. He said, Oh Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. And after some time, Jesus who was on the road, or Jesus was in his house. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. What will you say in between the word? Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. That Jesus who is on the road, I'm telling you, will get into your business, will get into your marriage, will get into your children. Ah! What will you say? That's not the way Bartomeu cried out. Oh Jesus. That's good. What is the cure? The only cure is through the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. He took your sin on the cross. He took your curse on the cross. He was broken into two so that you and I shall, hallelujah, inherit the blessing of God. There will be a supernatural exchange. He became sin for us that you and I shall enjoy the blessing of God. He took the curse on our behalf that you and I shall walk in the blessing of Jesus Christ. It is your inheritance to walk in the blessing. What will you say? Oh, yeah. ah, that's right. I feel like preaching now. What are the signs of curse? What are the signs of blessing? Because of the lack of time, you go home and read Deuteronomy 28, the full chapter. The first sign of a blessing is fruitfulness. Samardhi. Anigrevatinde adite saina. Samardhi. Fruitfulness. Sign of curse is unfruitfulness or poverty. We don't want our church to be unfruitful. When there is unfruitfulness, there is no new souls that we are able to reach. There is no joy to come. There is not the movement of the Holy Spirit or the gifts of the Spirit working in our lives. There are no new ministry doors that are open. Then you will know that the church is operating in a curse. I cried out to the Lord. Last night and I prayed, Lord, let us never operate in such a situation. I said, Lord, if you can remember our robber on the side of the cross, remember our church, remember this church in this city, that we shall walk in the blessing and in the prosperity and in the fruitfulness of God. If you believe it, put your hands together. If you are happy for that, if you believe that, you will be sold in us. Evangelists will rise in this church. Pastors will rise in this church. Prophets will rise in this church. Apostles will rise in this church. Ministry will come forth. Nations will open for the glory of Jesus Christ. But when you go to certain churches, there is no joy. There is no peace. There are no testimonies flowing. Something is stuck. 
tonight hallelujah we will not have that inheritance we will have fruitfulness in jesus christ precious day number 2 sign of blessing is prosperity or promotion or exaltation abhivruddhi randavathe sign anugrahathinu or abhivruddhi und advancement development progress prosperity number 3 samvritti satisfaction how many of you when you look at yesterday years and now is there any kind of satisfaction if not you might be under a curse you might be a curse is operating always complaining always looking at what you don't have always looking at that one thing you did not get always you will never be satisfied with god has done i mean i'm not speaking about when i'm speaking something like this i'm not speaking about a one or a two or a, at least a week that you are off mood i'm not speaking about that but you're operating in a particular thought everybody will have you know one of these off days and off moods and all that i'm not speaking about that when you're operating in that and when it is negatively harassing you tormenting you depressing you some people are almost eternally unsatisfied no matter what god has does for them they don't have a smile on their face they don't have a gratitude in their heart they don't have a praise in their mouth they don't have a step to dance come on somebody if i were you i would have taken two steps yeah. hallelujah i pray that by the end of this talk at least five people will dance at least five that's number 4 no productivity whether it is your children animals or your seed in your ground or estates should be fruitful anyone who is barren is not experiencing fruitfulness there is a curse that is hidingly operating in our lives but this morning i said my children and spiritual children shall be fruitful in their womb Amen. hallelujah how many of you say my womb is going to be fruitful hallelujah we want to be fruitfulness we don't want bad and people in our lives hallelujah i pray tonight there is a battle against hallelujah the devil trying come coming against the believers hallelujah from having generations but this morning how many of you will pray together father we resist it together as a church we resist this door we rebuke that spirit of barrenness to leave our lives leave the church we be productive for the glory of jesus christ In Jesus name Number 5 sign Are you here this morning Peace A sign of blessing is peace at home Look at two people and say peace Some homes no peace Husband and wife even while coming to the church will be fighting The only time they might not fight is when the burger is in their mouth There is fighting and the children is watching this sarcasm sarcasm always sarcastic suspicious i'm not speaking about you know a temporary peace that you get when you go on the giant wheel i'm not speaking about that when you are top of the giant wheel or when you go to the tops of munar or kashmir and that fresh air i'm not speaking about that peace peace at home Why everybody is so silent? The peace inside the house. When there is no food, when there is no money, but still father, mother, children sitting around the table and enjoying the Lord. I'm speaking about that peace. That's a sign of God's blessing. Some people we have everything, still no peace. Hallelujah. Sometimes you know you see people full time in the gym. 
because at home there is no peace <laughs> at least let me lose some muscle <laughs> It's a curse. Some people says that's modern, Pastor. We are a McDonald family. You don't need McDonalds to be rejoicing, even if you have a porridge around it. Hallelujah. Can you all angle and some doshi and better and good boy? Rada Nigra and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stop it. Hallelujah. Number six, long life is a sign of blessing. When you are operating in premature death, if there is anybody who has died before that time in your family, I cancel every premature die, uh, death to leave your family in the name of Jesus this morning. You will not die before your time. The Lord is rebuking the spirit of death. Come on somebody, the fire of the Holy Ghost. As a church, we rebuke it in the name of the Lord. I will live and at times I proclaim the deeds of God. I feel a life call, a life of the anointing of God. Divariya, Duroda Lava, Sambara Lavana, Dira Duroda Lavana, Sandra Yaravana. You shall live long, the Bible says. Moses, when he was depressed, he said, 80 or 90 years you will live. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But Psalm 91, he said, with long life I will satisfy you. Come on, somebody tonight. Come on, somebody. It's a sign of blessing. Hallelujah. I'm not speaking about one person have died in your family. When there's a continuous pattern. When some people don't or some families don't go beyond an age. Heart pain at the age of 50. Sugar. Cholesterol. Hallelujah. Don't keep it and say it's normal. By the stripes of Jesus. May you be healed. These three days. These three days some diseases will leave your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It will leave your blood. It will leave your family tree. He has commanded life forevermore. Number seven, victory over enemies. It's a blessing. If you're always failing, whatever you do, it's failing. It's a curse. Now, let me tell you, when I'm saying all that, don't be so curse conscious. I'm telling you this, that you leap it in the butt and say, get out. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ayo, Allah, boy. Everything gone. I'm a curse. No. If Jesus can come and release a Bartimaeus who was in the city of Jericho, a place of curse, and release him and bless his house, God can release you. Hallelujah. He released a Zacchaeus from Jericho. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. There is Jericho miracles. Jericho blessings. And amazing Jericho was a place that hallelujah cursed by Joshua anybody puts Jericho back will be cursed king a king put it back and his firstborn died and then their entire city there were thieves in that place there were murderers there, 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 were, there were tax collectors there was Zacchaeus who was stealing other people's money there, 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 there was Bartimaeus who was blind but when one person cried, Oh, Rabba Kaskara. Ninni Uriwan Karanyamadi. Hallelujah. Ninda Kuduma Brashavra Yikim. One person has to cry for your family tree. To be her, Ramalara. Yenne Ninne Karachila. Ninda Kudumati Anikri Kilda. Our tears and our cry will release our entire family and generation. To those who bl love me and I will bless them into a thousand generations. Come on, somebody today. Hallelujah. He has commanded life. You are not a failure. Look at somebody and say, you're not a failure. If we always fail, there will be competition comes. We will try to push somebody and wants to win. All these things come when you have a spirit of failure. I, even if 
you know i lose it's okay but he also should not lose i mean when like that the kind of complex competition hallelujah this morning god will bless you god will victory over your failures over your enemies hallelujah you don't have to win every argument you don't have to win every conversation it shows insecurity let me tell you marriage people you don't have to win every argument that shows you're insecure you don't have to win every conversation it's a bondage in your life hallelujah we hold our peace god will give our victory people might insult us misunderstand us don't try to defend yourself all the time sometimes it's a not defendable but when you look to the lord he will defend you hallelujah praise the lord lift your hands as if my jesus will defend me are you here this morning hallelujah number 8 the blessing in deuteronomy 28 and come to the best one it's holy life some people the desires of the heart is always holy how many of you desires i want to live a holy life i have not not anybody written a book how to walk in unholiness nobody needs to write it's there <laughs> is there in our flesh but if you are always walking in unholiness there is a curse connected with it deuteronomy 28 9 and 10 towards Deuteronomy 28 9 and 10 the lord will establish you as a holy people to himself just as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandment of the lord your god and walk in his ways then he, all, yes then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of you amen your holiness makes the enemies afraid but i'm not getting into that hallelujah It is a blessing to live holy. Hallelujah. It is a blessing to keep your heart pure. When you desire God gives you the grace not by your own strength or will power but he releases grace favor to say no to certain stuff. There was a young girl in Kerala. One pastor said she was from a minimal family. She did not have money. husband had one pair of uh clothing she has a one pair of clothing and after out of nowhere her sister who was in america who was a nurse uh called her she was also a nurse the sister so said i will give you a job in america would you come no your things will get better so this woman this girl the poor girl went to the pastor and said pastor i want you to pray see my sister has called me from stage she said i will get a good job can you please pray that i won't get it pastor said what happened because i don't want to go there nothing wrong with america why she said not to go there was she knows her sister who went there ended up living a wrong life an unholy life so she said I would rather have one pair of clothing and be here and live a holy life than to lose that somewhere else. Come on, somebody! Hallelujah! Amen! Don't take me wrong. It's not about going or not going. It is about her desire, her motives. Open your mouth and say, "I want to live a holy life." Say three times, "I want to live a holy life." എനിക്ക് വിശുദ്ധമായ ഒരു ജീവിതം ജീവിക്കണം കർത്താവ് ഹാലലു എന്നെ വിശുദ്ധി നടത്തണം കർത്താവ് എന്നെ വിശുദ്ധി കാക്കണം കർത്താവ് അശുദ്ധിയുടെ ശാപശക്തികൾ വിട്ടുപോട്ടെ You have to say with your mouth I don't want to have a bondage of sin and curse I want to live holy. Oh come on somebody. Hallelujah. I thought this is the place you will give clap. What will you say? 
What will you say? Who gives you that? Ah, it's good. Some people even cannot pray because the moment they pray, bad thoughts will come. Even they come to church, you know, bad thoughts will come all the time. But if you are under a blessing, hallelujah, a desire to live holy, certain thoughts will leave you forever. Lord is releasing you eternally some people to live holy and to God. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, Rabala. Oh, hallelujah. Be seductive enough to take your focus in the name of the Lord. Oh, Rabala, there are some that are bored in a Bahara, but not the road of Rabala. The Lord will deliver you from the seductress. Oh, in the name of Jesus, give you praise and glory in the house of God. Number nine, if you are under the blessing, you will progress. There is exaltation. There will be somebody there to exalt you. In your workplace, in your family. Amen. God will send somebody to lift you up. Number ten, if you are under the blessing, you have mental health. Under the curse, the Bible says there are three issues in the mind. Number one is madness. Number two is eclipse. And number three is confusion. If you are always confused mental instability ninna manasile oru dhairyam illada eppolum oru dosta karyalle eppolum dhairyam illa jeevan illa there is no courage there is no confidence every step you are scared mano dhairyam illa you are mad you are always depressed ah man some people say living in england is depressing because it's always cold and no light but in india there's so much of sunlight <laughs> always depressed This mental emotional imbalance you cannot make the right decisions always chiriya thirumana edukkan pattadilla hallelujah or just imagine two or three of people are talking immediately say they are talking against me or somebody joked and said hey you put on too much weight man and then you go into depression for a week That's what happened to me, see? <laughs> Just joking. Immediately hurt, unstable, everything. You're totally upset. For God's sake, you are living in the normal world. You cannot shut the people's mouth. One, somebody or the other, every day will comment. See? See? your unwise husband will comment your unwise wife will comment if every comment it is to be a fighting i mean all the best this laugh it off that's a grace praise the lord hallelujah the mental imbalance when somebody says something against you you say oh the entire church is against me it's a mental imbalance where in there you don't know the entire church to move or nego you know four people there is a four people said something entire church is against mental imbalance it's a curse when god release you out of it this man in the name of jesus may you become emotionally stable and may your heart be established in the name of Jesus Christ i decree that blessing over your life this morning god is for you jesus is for you holy spirit is for you the angels of god are for you i am for you the church is for you come on somebody this morning no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper my girlfriend is not for me pastor let her leave Pray God will bless one bless you one who's for you God will bless you one who's for you Somebody said pastor I should have listened to this blessing few years back <laughs> 11th the sign of blessing is sufficiency curse is insufficiency what does that mean he gives my today's need not tomorrow innannathe aaharam innunu therum praise the lord for today's petrol 
ഇന്നത്തെ പെട്രോൾ ഇന്ന് പൈസ കിട്ടും But today's food, God will give you today. Some people even they don't have that. Some of you are fortunate having all that. But there are people who don't have it. I'm speaking for them. Let me be, tell you. Let me release a blessing. From this day on, what's in the middle? In the life of the world, one day, 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 one day. There will not be a day in your life where you will experience. My God shall supply the need of that day. At least... the business for that day tax for that day petrol for that day if you under that there's a spirit of poverty that is holding your life i break its power hallelujah stotra adinu dinu killengile hallelujah there's a spirit of poverty hallelujah stotra hallelujah ninda daralathilotha മാറ്റി കളയാൻ വേണ്ടി നിന്റെ അകത്ത് ഹാലലൂയ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ശാപത്തിന്റെ ഒരു ശക്തി ഉണ്ട് ഹാലലൂയ നിന്നെ കുറവാക്കുന്ന ആ ഹാലലൂയ അതിൽ നിന്ന് നിന്നെ മാറ്റി കളയാൻ യേശുവിന്റെ രക്തം നിരക്കായിട്ട് സംസാരിക്കട്ടെ bring that day's business hallelujah that day's work in the name of jesus i destroy every stronghold that is holding your finances this month and i release i speak for the release ninde phalal sambathyam pidichu vechirikkunna chala meghalayil unukal vidigal praavikatte where there are finances that has been held by the enemy may god bring the release tonight that every delay leave your life let me release Number 12 Deuteronomy 28 and 29 says when there is nobody to help you sometimes you see that you are in a need there is nobody to help you sometimes we flare up the very people we thought would stand with us will not be there and we we'll bad mouth them we we'll make a group and we we'll attack them that's not what you need to say it's a curse when you don't have the right help at the right time bible calls it a curse you have to break that so god will send god send people into your life to help you at the right time ninna sahayikkuvan vendi aavashya samayathe hallelujah swargathil ninnu devam aalkare vidu praise the lord hallelujah sometimes you say there is a unseen shadow of curse that is walking there is nobody there to uplift me say a word of encouragement that is emotional relational spiritual there is nobody to help your financial pastor there is nobody the very boss that i worked so hard for when it came for the time of appraisal he did not even look at me oh it's a curse that needs to be broken off from your life next appraisal your name will be on the top oh. thank you jesus some people say my parents were not there they've not loved me I thought somebody would love me nobody loved me then I thought when I must married somebody would love me that was the biggest shock of my life pastor praise the lord don't worry everybody goes through that shock <laughs> that is when you look to the lord I felt alone lonely nobody there to speak those are about to change those are about to change your husband and your wife will be great companions over your life come on you don't have to go outside of your marriage ninda bartavu ninda bariye etho meli tunayaki kartavu matum ninda ba vivahathinte porthu yare kandu pidikanda avashyamilla god will make hallelujah help me hallelujah good help us good people in this church to help you to uplift you to speak over you number 13 I go fast because of lack of time hereditary diseases generational diseases like asthma heart disease migraine been a pattern my mother has my grandmother and my auntie has now i have it pastor i don't believe in all this you say insurance people will believe first thing when you go to take insurance you say anybody had any problem in your family they believe it when you go to the doctors when you say oh i have diabetes did your father had they believe it only we don't believe it 
Hallelujah. If there is, you can walk in the blessing. This morning, I pray that some generational curses will be broken. Talamurayayitu vannu irikinna chala rogangalum shabangalum. Nindya apparinna, nindya mukta chilinna vannu irikinna chala vendanangal. Vittagannu maripota ishu vinda namadu. I speak for release from every generational curses in the name of the Lord. That which has been transmitted, transferred from your great grandparents, from your great great grandparents. May that be supernatural deliverance taking place right now. Come on, receive it. Hold on to it. Amen to it. Oh, Ravala Valas. by the blood of Jesus are you here church tonight are you here church tonight let me hear you calling 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 oh this is what I call church three signs to know if there is a generational curse in your life prolonged diseases no medicine for that diseases when you are accident prone this morning I cancel every accident in your life in the name of the Lord it is not God's will to die in an accident it's not God's will that a train will run over you it's not God's will that a freaky accident takes place when you get out somewhere a bike come and hit you that's not the will of God some people one cycle hit them on Monday Coming back, a dog will bite them on Tuesday. Number three, next day, they'll be looking at somebody else's house and they fall into a ditch. <laughs> Some people come with every problem. Every, sometimes I look at the counseling. Oh, your same person. Last week, this week. Every week they have a problem. Oh, you can come for a prayer, okay. I'm saying, it's a continuous pattern. But if you want to be whole, if you want to be whole, you need to have this revelation that Jesus became a curse for you. That you can walk in the blessing. Release that curse into the hands of God today. And hallelujah. The Bible says 2000 years ago, there was a Jesus who came for you, who loved you and who set you free. You can receive it freely through the righteousness of God through the righteous blood it's yours number 14 hereditary nature immorality can be a pattern walking in one immoral lifestyle after another immoral lifestyle in Korean church it was there this morning you will not fall into an immoral lifestyle again victory by the blood of Jesus your sexuality will be instruments of righteousness hallelujah some people anger some people you know with much pride they will say my great grandfather's anger pastor you know my father's you know you should know mine I don't want My grandfather could only drink two pegs. My daddy at the most, one bottle pasta. Don't say with pride that thing will not leave your life. Say it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke it, hallelujah, out of my life in the name of the Lord. I rebuke the demon of alcoholism and drug addiction. Oh, Rabaladara, Rutabala, Sambara, Rajara, Rajara. Oh, you should say, you should see the tantrum of my auntie and my mother. It's there in my daughter. At very young, I understood it's not good to have the tantrums of daughters. I rebuke it the day she was born. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have to recognize it as a bondage and ask the Lord to forgive you. And ask the Lord to give you victory. You have to say, I don't want it. 
come on oh close your eyes and say i don't want that bondage i don't want that bondage i will not take it i will not receive it if there is there in me i cancel it i reverse law into a blessing i release my out of it in the name of jesus hallelujah if you are in a hereditary problems nature family problems when you step into a family you know there is always fighting you know it it is said that at least once a year the family should be happy some people that is also not there from that day past somebody is a pastor from the day that we got married it started we are not able to build the house on the foundation of jesus or family issues after marriage pastor we don't have children bible scholars believe if you don't have children after 3 years of marriage you have to ask the lord whether you are operating in a curse this is the learned anointed bible scholars who have experiencing pastors for 50 years 60 years seen people and they have said this 3 years of marriage and still we are not able to produce a child we have to see whether i'm operating in a curse if so i don't want you to be worried what the doctors can't do god will do father it is not by might no by power open wounds are an inheritance for the god's people hallelujah sandana bhagya devathina makkal allavala parishuddha vaa vilichu varayo some people say it's too late praise the lord Sarah would have said it's too late. Twenty-five years. Rebecca would have said it's two years. Twenty years. Rachel would have said it's too late. Eighteen years. But three of them still had children. Rabaria, Sambara, and the other one. Oh, Sarah, you are crazy. Rachel, Padina, Rebecca, you are crazy. Sambara, Bagi, Mama, Gila, you are crazy. God is releasing a blessing of fruitfulness in your womb. Receive it. If you have the history of miscarriages in your life, there is a, there might be a curse involved in it. Number sixteen, if you are under a curse, you might be under a negative cycle. What is the negative cycle? Every two years you have a problem. Every two years you have a death. Or some people every two week, one day stomach ache, one day headache. That particular time, that particular month, that particular year. Hallelujah. The cycle be broken this morning. Some people, some people after two years, they will leave. Jesus also, they will leave the Lord after two years. Then one year they'll be faithful. After that, again two years. But some people every month they come for four Sundays, they will miss eight Sundays. A negative cycle. Hallelujah. What is a positive cycle? one blessing after another one blessing this week another blessing in ah come on somebody that's what i want the church exaltation one door open today another door open another day come on hallelujah there is always testimony there is a continue somebody of you want that today one healing today tomorrow another healing hallelujah one ministry today tomorrow god brings another soul to minister it's all a positive cycle come on we want a positive cycle hallelujah negative cycle can be broken off i am so limited you should go and read the book on derek prince written by derek prince on blessing and curses he is the most amazing man of god who has dealt this issue all through his life the most respected teacher of the whole wide world in the christian world where every man of god who is living will refer his book or books he is buried on the israel on the olive mountain and waiting for jesus to come and raise him up hallelujah praise god he adopted children from different nations he married twice after the first one died huh? he has written a book on marriage he said after living with two women still i have not figured it out so if you haven't figured it out don't worry Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a secret to a good marriage. Hallelujah. How to get out of this? How many of you want to get out of this? Hallelujah. I want to take some time to pray. Number one, identify if there is a curse. Some of you, I know, not writing much notes. Go home and listen to this again. Identify if there is a curse. The Bible scholars believe everybody at least has two curses working in them by default. Even that two curses you can get out. But if you have more than two, there is a chance that there is a curse working inside. In Indian context, the men of God in the India believe at least three or four everybody has because of the kind of society we are living in. But if you have more than six of more than four, it might be a chance that you are moving, operating in a curse. Hallelujah. Amen. Even that four you can be delivered. I'm just telling. The pattern can be broken. If no good things are happening, you can see good. Let's take a verse. Proverbs 26 and the second verse. Proverbs 26 and second verse. Like a fleeting sparrow, like a flying swallow. So a curse without God shall not alight. Amen. A curse without a cause will not take root in your life. It is like a fly, a bird that flies over your head. It will not root. It will not come and make the house there. Just fly off. So if there is a curse, there is a cause. Amen. I want to take three causes today. Number one. Are you here? What would you say? What will you say? Oh, what will you say? Oh, Jesus. Number one cause. Idol worship. The Bible says, Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. The Bible says, Only one name under heaven on earth which can be, which is given for mankind can be saved. His name is Jesus. There is salvation in no other name but through Jesus. The Bible says the God we worship is one God, yet He is triune, triune, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So if you worship any other God other than Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, a curse will be opened to you. Amen. Bible says flee from idolatry. Idol worship has three wings. Number one is power wing. Everybody say power wing. There are certain places that offering boxes are kept, especially in India. In all religions, people go there for special prayers and special blessings you're opening yourself to a curse when you're giving offerings to them and special places you know some people come to church and go everywhere else Amen I'm not against any religion including every religion whether it's Christian any religion idols you don't worship an idol Jesus lives in you Praise the Lord. A photo can't do anything. Brick can't do anything. Jesus Christ is alive and well. He lives inside of you. Would I go to Dipti's photo every day? Dipti, give me a give me a tea. Give me a coffee. Dipti, massage my legs. Diti, can I do that? And the real person is there. Why I need the photo? Some idols are in your heart. You are too important than even Jesus Christ Himself. Hallelujah. Some people so important that somebody hurts them 
they don't even come into the vicinity of the church because they are worshiping themselves it's a curse they bring a curse into their lives they are more important than worshiping the lord bible says i will not share my glory with anyone there's nobody important love him with all your heart you don't come here to make clubs we don't come here to make contacts we don't even come here for a marriage proposal we don't even come here hallelujah for anything else but other than to worship the lord and to lift his name above all the other name and when we do it god will make all first seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness all these things shall be added then there is the knowledge wing are you here tonight this morning church palmistry looking at the stars jadagam vastu astrology you are allowing curses to enter into your life but some of you are going to be delivered if you bow yourself to this god will deliver you unbiblical knowledge connected with other gods and signs that are not in accordance with the word of god hallelujah you are opening yourself into a curse in this morning if you call on to jesus through the finished work of jesus through the perfect cross of calvary if you have surrendered yourself to any of these god can set you free hallelujah and release you hallelujah it turn over blessing in jesus name physical contact material third birth stones black threads superstitions a physical contact mantra charadival magical threads all these things carry a curse that's why in our church it's god who unites our marriage not even a thali not a mantra godi it is god that who brings our marriage together binds our marriage together if you are under grace and under the word of the lord you don't need all these things you don't need a magical thread you don't need hallelujah praise the lord i with me church this morning there are men of god who one day comes to worship and the other day they go and do something else they do magic i mean be aware who you are entertaining into your house don't entertain unnecessary people it will set your life for total different direction they'll give you one prophecy they'll give you once so looking like something spiritual devam ayekatha devadasanmarde endu parayunna manushyante vaakkal ketta inda jeevan tholakkirathu hallelujah ipo adine kurichu athrey parayathu because today believers are afraid of the devil you are supposed to put him under your feet now he is scared because you are listening to too many voices when i am telling you this you don't have to worry or be afraid of the devil or the enemy of the curse if you look to jesus and his cross it is under your feet today in the name of jesus in the kali dadilana the prashnangal hallelujah Number two, cause sexual relationship outside a marriage. Sexual relationship outside of your marriage, especially sexual relationship with relatives or animals, homosexuality. You are opening yourself to a curse. We love everyone. Don't mis- mistake me. We love the sin, but hates the sin because it's the Bible says against it. If you have opened ask forgiveness from the law and God will set you free he will forgive you from all your sins and heal you from all diseases this morning how many of you believe that this morning rabadios korodala mana rabadios kavara dharadara jara come on pray for some time that an unclean spirits are living your soul your body your family hallelujah so call upon his name 
I rebuke every unclean spirit that is battling against the soul and mind and body. Every condemnation, every past. I come against it in the name of the law. I set your people free. I rebuke unclean spirit. Oh, that has taken root in certain families, certain minds. Come on, approach it now. In the power of your holy blood. Let there be a cleansing of the holy blood. Ramaria, Jiravalava, Kamaria, Sambara. Oh, be free now. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeshu in Narati Jaivanda. Victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you with me, church? D.P. Joshua, a man of God. God is using in Africa, around the world, a prophet of God. He said his, his church, he was casting a demon and the demon manifested in live TV and everybody was watching it. And the demon came out of that young girl and he said, I am the demon that uses internet to bring uncleanness to people. There is a demon that comes through internet. Through messages, to seducing messages, to luring messages. There are Delilahs, modern Delilahs in WhatsApp and Facebook. If you get a message in the phone, I, 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 use, I get sometimes a message. If you are feeling lonely, call 90210. You can have this call. Or if you are going alone for a holiday, call this number. You will have a perfect companion to destroy your life. That the devil won't say. Message won't say. Hallelujah. There are that enemy that demon said, not only in Africa. I have authority in other nations, other people, in male and female. I have people who worships me, who are under my power. But this morning, hallelujah, I cast the devil out. Under the authority of Jesus Christ, standing on the word of God and the power of the name of Jesus, as a servant of the living God, I rebuke, bind that path of darkness, leave in the name of Jesus. May your light come upon your intelligence. In the buddhi of delicate, I should have shakti with water. May your hallelujah wisdom be upon your soul to escape the snares of the other. Hallelujah. Number three, occult practices. Occult practices. Rebellion towards God and God's word. You don't know why. Some people, when they when you're preaching them, you think, Oh my God, you're preaching blessing and they're looking at you to anger, to want to kill you. One pastor said, I always smile and preach. I always smile. So that under my smiling, the truth will go. I wanted to take a plaster and come today. Sometimes not only against God, against God's godly authority. If a man of God comes and correct you, you say, man of God is too, pastor is too hard, I'll go to another church. Then another church, you go to other pastor, correct you. He says, oh, all the pastors are liars. You go from church to church, pastor to pastor. Doesn't submit to anyone. Hallelujah. It's a rebellion. 1 Samuel chapter 15, 22 to 23 says, Rebellion as good is as great as the sin of witchcraft. Today I said, Lord, if there are small witches in this house, <laughs> I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Number four, dishonoring your parents. Exodus 20 and Ephesians 6 says, the only promise with a blessing for long life is honoring your parents. Amen. 
they might not be always right but you have to honor them they might not accept your faith they but to speak the truth in love but still honor them not blast them your mother might be small you know weaker targets you say i can't say anything with my mother and escape it you won't escape the eyes of god hug your mother call your mother love them amen father might have hurt you abused you pastor whatever you are saying came because of that man might be but you have to honor him number 5 your attitude towards the weaker sections of the people poor people widows orphans how you treat them god looks don't attack people who can attack you back come on somebody even how do you treat an unborn child abortion you open up a curse but if you have done it god will forgive you but never in the name of family planning do it and number 6 you open up an enemy by soulish prayer and propaganda what is that when a person hurts you you make a club to attack them the soulish prayer you make up not only that you started praying against them it's a soulish prayer god will not honor ninne edirkunavan edire parayunna oru club devathinte alla avarku edir prarthana devathinte alla vajana adisthanathu mathra nammal prarthikkan padullu praise the lord and god said love your enemies ninde shatrukale di snekuvin people come against you bless them anything against that hallelujah if you have a problem in the church don't make a propaganda come and tell me but instead of that you carry 10 people and you share it you are opening up a curse amen it's not led by the spirit you are making prayers according to the hurts that you are experiencing you are looking at how to destroy the one who hurt me don't do that may god release you out of this mindset hallelujah don't do it we bless people hallelujah let's read that verse once again 1 peter chapter 3 and 9 and let's pray together not returning evil for evil or reviling reviling for reviling but on the contrary blessing knowing that you were called to this knowing that you were called to this that you may inherit a blessing knowing that god has called for this that you will experience the blessing i'm going to pray today I want you to just close your eyes for a few minutes ask the lord that you will be able to tangibly experience before you go before you close your eyes i'm not done this before but tomorrow and day after i'm going to go deeper into it on blessing and curse so that i will be sure that nobody in this church that will walk in a curse amen we'll have meeting from 7:30 to 9:45 the first time i'm doing this is a it's like a one day fast so evening you will get food and because it's you know some of you are new so i don't want you to put a too much of a burden some of you are working by so life felt led so you fast the full day evening after the meeting there will be dinner ready here there will be a small dinner that is enough for you to come get up tomorrow and pray and come amen i mean you get better than a biscuit but ah uh, and day after tomorrow after the fasting and prayer we party a little more but i'm saying till that time hold on to two days i'm telling you now keep this two days protected guarded come here together amen take a little time off your work and everything is for you not for me hallelujah glory to god and the choice is yours i've setting you jesus said blessing and curse choice is yours but i'm just inviting you amen hallelujah look at two people and say be there tomorrow hallelujah let's close our eyes today thank you jesus thank you jesus. now 
just before 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 you close your eyes and pray how how to get out of it identify find the curse and confess it out while i'm going to ask you to pray confess not only your sin but confess your faith in christ jesus and say because of what jesus christ has done for me on the cross of calvary i am coming out of the sin and curse right now you have to apply your faith from your heart amen amen let's close our eyes if you are identifying something tonight i want you to pray i want you to pray the little bit opening your mouth in a voice that you and the lord can hear in the name of jesus you can speak for them i'm just going to help you issue in the name of the i realize i am under a curse i am sammadikkunnu and a shabathin adil petarundu in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i proclaim my liberty and freedom in the name of jesus issue in the name of the i am in the shabathil ninnulla vidudal i am kalpikkunnu swathandri kalpikkunnu this is not to make you curse conscious but how much god has blessed you and you need to release yourself out of it നീ ശപിക്കപ്പെട്ടവനാണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാനല്ല എത്രമാത്രം അധികം ദൈവം നിന്നെ അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചിട്ടോ അതിൽ നിന്ന് പുറത്തു വരാൻ വേണ്ടി വചനം one prayer for the heart remember me i know that you are dying for me i know that you are shedding your blood for me i know that you are taking my place the robber said he said only one thing remember me lord ask the lord tonight remember you because of jesus father will remember you because of jesus father will remember your family our church because of jesus he will remember us in this city a prayer that opened the open heavens before the open heavens was this robber's prayer the lord said today you will be with me in paradise ishvina just one prayer tonight by faith remember me lord remember my family If you really want to choose blessing in life I would ask you today to people can kneel down kneel down in the place where you are people don't want to kneel down I would request you to stand up people are old can't kneel down I want to say this prayer from your heart a prayer of release ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലും മലയാളത്തിലും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ഷെഡിംഗ് എവ്രി ഡ്രോപ്പ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ഹോളി ബ്ലഡ് യു എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് യുവർ ബ്ലസ്സിംഗ് ഫോർ മീ I receive it enlighten my heart give me the revelation of your heart to me lord so that i don't stay in a curse i ask you forgiveness for not believing in you for not believing in what jesus christ has done for me i rebuke the spirit of curse of lie and bondage to live my life anoint us to experience your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ i activate the angels of god to bring the activation of my blessing to my life to my family to my house to my generation make me a carrier of your presence and your blessing I renounce every sin. I renounce Satan. I renounce the world. I renounce every curse. I ask you, Lord, 
to cleanse my heart with your precious blood i renounce idol worship sexual immorality occult pujas vastus rebellion every kind of stubbornness against god against authority right now in the name of jesus i ask you lord to forgive me lord i ask you lord if i've done any soulish propaganda against anyone against the church against the servant of god i ask you forgiveness cleanse my heart my family my family tree my family life through your precious blood i am blessed i am blessed and not cursed through the perfect sacrifice of jesus christ and i release myself from curse unto the blessing right now in jesus mighty and precious name father i pray amen 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 thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord